On this channel, we've talked a lot about what gamification is, how it could be relevant to your business, and how to implement it. But today, I thought I'd show you a different way of using gamification altogether. And that is how I designed and created an interactive, gamified rug, complete with QR and AR integrations. But before we get into it, if you're into all things gamification, then consider subscribing for regular content. Let's do it. Last year, I had a simple problem. I needed a new rug. So what do we do about it? I don't know. I won't go into detail about why I needed a new rug, but it involved raising and toilet training a puppy. And from there, I'm sure you can do the math. After failing to find a rug I liked online, and the social media powers that be tracking my every online movement, I started to get ads for professional tufters and rug weavers offering to create a rug that you design yourself. That sounded fun to me, so I thought I'd have a go at designing my own rug. I know I wanted the rug to be personal in some way, representing something I was passionate about or that inspired me. And if you followed the channel for a while, you know I'm into gaming. And if you're into gaming, you may have seen our video a while back on the top five puzzle games of all time. Link in the description if you haven't. The game that topped that list was one of my favorite games of all time, The Witness. The Witness is a grid-based philosophical puzzle game where you awake in a tunnel before it's revealed you're alone on an island full of mystery and, of course, puzzles. The game doesn't give you any sort of help from the start. There's no introduction, text prompts, or voiceovers to guide you. But the island is so well constructed that all the answers are there, and it's up to you to notice them. The only real game mechanics are movement and the ability to move your cursor to solve puzzles. It's a perfect blend of beauty and logic, of style and simplicity, of mystery and purpose. So, once I decided this was the idea I was gonna go with, the goal became simple. I want a rug that looks cool, is a puzzle, interactive and gamified. Firstly, I needed to design a puzzle. The puzzles in The Witness vary a lot, but their core mechanic is consistent. You begin the puzzle by pressing the circle on one end, and you have to exit the puzzle where the line protrudes. It's the problems you have to solve before you exit the puzzle that change. These vary widely in difficulty and style, but all will require you to think critically at some point. I wanted the puzzle to be solved without much prior explanation, so I needed to choose a puzzle style that was challenging enough to be fun, but not so difficult it would deter players. The style I selected is simple, collect all the dots before completing the puzzle. This becomes interesting when you include breaks in the puzzle, which forces players to carefully plan a path, otherwise you can easily get stuck. Once I decided on the puzzle style, I now needed the puzzle's shape. As the puzzle was destined to be a rug, it needed to fit the shape of my living room. I have an L-shaped sofa, so I wanted it to wrap around the sofa and be big enough to house a coffee table. And thus, whatever you call this shape was born. And now for the puzzle itself. This took a surprising amount of testing to design a puzzle that couldn't be solved immediately, but wasn't too challenging. I had a couple of generous playtesters from the Witness subreddit give feedback on puzzles, and I eventually decided on a design I liked. And now came the hardest part for me, designing the aesthetics of the puzzle. I know I wanted the colors to be vibrant, but honestly, that was about all I had planned. The rest was simply trial and error. In the end, I landed on a design that was simple and yet was right in front of me the whole time. I would simply duplicate the puzzle in contrasting colors, offset them to a fixed distance, and it all just lined up. I then filled in the background, and there it was, a rug. Once all the design elements were locked off, I found a great rug maker in India called Yahan Rugs, and the weaving began. And now the part that qualifies this story as a gamify video, gamifying the rug. Luckily for me, fellow fans of The Witness had already built an open source website where people can create their own puzzles to play online. So all I had to do was take the source code and give it to a web developer to create a puzzle where I had control over the shape and colors. I then nabbed myself a domain name, generated a QR code that linked to the site, and asked the rug maker to include a QR code as a tag that would hide under the rug so visitors could play it on their phone with a simple scan, gamified. Then began the waiting game. Hand weaving a rug takes time, so during that time, my mind began to wonder. Instagram did its thing of feeding me content related to rugs, and I stumbled upon someone creating an augmented reality animation that activates when it scans a particular image. Once I saw that, I couldn't resist. I thought it'd be cool to have the solution reveal as an animation on the rug itself that would activate when you scanned a certain part of the puzzle. Once I worked out the AR kinks, I just needed to wait for the rug to arrive and calibrate to get it up and running. After two months of waiting, the rug finally arrived. And here it is in action.
that's all for today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you're into all things gamification, and drop the video a like if you're so inclined. It helps us a lot. And if you're looking to implement gamification into your business, get in touch with us at gamify.com. Have a good one.